Hey everyone, welcome back to 5 Tips and Tricks in Houdini Part 4. In this tutorial, we will focus on copy two points and I will share 5 tips like how to copy random pieces and optimize it. Along the way, we will learn how to offset animation including few extra things. So without further ado, let's get started. Tip number 1. Random pieces. So let's take some objects, box sphere and some test geometry. Let's merge them all. So I want to copy these objects randomly on points. So let's add points as well. So we need grid, take size of 50 by 50 and scatter some points. It's always good to start with less points. So in case something is heavy, then you can fix that. Let's go to frame number one. To copy this, we have to use copy to points. At the moment, it's copying every object. So how do I randomly assign this object to the points? For that, we can use this piece attribute and here we need name or any other attribute as well for example it can be id or it can be a class let's take the example of class so for that we need connectivity and note all these objects are snapped to the grid it doesn't have any connected pieces so it's all individual one polygon okay so if i go to geometry spreadsheet i have this from 0 to 3 as i have four objects so it will start from 0 to 3 and same class attributes i have to add over here as well so i have 10 points right so i need randomly class attribute on each point so if i use connectivity and let me just now it will have from 0 to 9 so let's just check this if it's working or not now let me just type this yes so it's working right, so it will randomly assign these four pieces so this is not assigning to some points because it's greater than four right so now we have to create this attribute randomly so for that we can use this point triangle connect this and add i for integer it's a class and i need random attributes so we can here we can use ptnum but if you are dealing with particle system you can use id over here and i will multiply with total number of objects so in my case i have four so it will randomly assign it cool let me increase this count now maybe 50 yep so if you want to add seed you can just add and you can see it's showing this green error or something right so we can add integer so because it's converting this into integer so that's why it's giving that so we can just fix it awesome so this looks great and this is how we can use this so tip number two for that we need camera let's increase size of this by 100 great so if i check over here let me just increase this overall so this area is near to the camera and this area is really far away so in this area i can make some optimization for example i can just reduce polygon count or something and let's just check how we can do that based on camera distance so and let's just calculate camera distance for that we need camera points so if i use object merge it always so it always creates this cam origin so which is useful and if i have to use this into the object in this Right, so i have this point so i will simply use attribute transfer i need point triangle this is hq let me just copy the same and add hq1 great and let's just check that over here right, so how do i check this so let's go over here and press on i and you can just select this it will create this visualizer over here so let's just click on edit first so, and we have to make some changes over here for best and use minimum and max right, so now you can see here that yes it's working great so in this radius i want hq and blue can be low resolution so for that we can use poly reduce and i will just simply remove this so from distance it, it won't be visible 
right and we will just use switch so this is by default and this is with camera HQ. awesome let me just remove and let's go to the camera so now challenge is that how do we read this attribute over here this hq attribute and we have to read that per point so for that we need to run this copy to points on each points and we can use this for each point right so it will run this on each points and if i check over here it will just show me from 0 to 1 and i can i can use this node to switch on and off and let's just connect this great so let's just for this we need to some type over here so let's start with point so if you type point it will just show me this help and this is really helpful so you can just always figure this out in case you forget how to use this so first we need to mention a path and after that we need to mention the point number so in most of the cases it will be zero after that we need to mention attribute in our case it will be hq and after that we need to mention if it's vector or not so in most cases it will be float or vector you can use zero to two so let's just mention this path for each begin and after that it's point number zero and we need to mention hq awesome and it's float so zero so let's just check is it working and if i press w it is working so you won't see much difference in this one but you will see difference over here so before this let's just check so for now after optimization it's taking somewhere around 64 mb but before it was taking 141 and then that is a somewhere around 50 percent reduction right so that's how we can optimize this and you can even create more layer if it's really far away right so you can even use multiple three to four also tip number three is a bit interesting as of now we were testing this on static objects but now we have animated object so if i play this it's all moving at the same time how do i offset this timing And it's really simple we need to create some attribute over here so let's start by creating this attribute which is i at offset here i'll just create this random based on pt norm and, and i will use fit 01 to remap it so i need offset from one to 30 frames or maybe we can increase it to 5 let's add integer overall great so we will offset this using time shift so all we have to do is just mention that attribute over here and let's just start by point and it goes same way great so you can see the offset over here and now let's just add color f plus so now it will run this on each point so let's just make a flip book right so you can see here and in fact we can increase this even more so let's just make it 100 awesome Tip number four is you can see here that everything has the same speed as well so how do we make variation in speed as well and we can just use this real time over here and you can just mention this n number of frame in case you don't want to use any right and here we have a speed so if i increase this by five and let's just go over here and check this Right, so this is really faster and that's what i want and i want from 
1 2 2.5 and let's just use this over here and all you can do is in case you don't want to retype this every time so you can just use copy and make you can make a set of this also in case you want to you all need to change this speed over here and that's what and let's just check is it working make a flip book great you can see here some of them are really fast and that's what we really want tip number five is very useful so it, let's create one global random attribute so here i'm just typing this every time right so if i create one random attribute i can use this everywhere so let's just use random based on pitinum right so you can see here where i can use this i can use this to remap this value so let me just copy this and i want to transform I want to use transform and I want to rotate them in between some degree, right? So here, maybe this angle and this angle. So it's from minus 30 to 30, right? So let's just use this, which is random. And in fact, we can use fit zero to one here as well. And I can just easily mention from 30, minus 30 to 30. Right, so in fact, we can use this for scale as well. Point five to one point five. Yes, this is great, and I would like to mention one more thing. And this is the source of this tutorial and here you can see here that everything has so I'll mention this in description in case you want to learn this more and it has some more optimization technique as well. So hope you like this tutorial and see you next time.